Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, I am reviewing the LEGO Set 6389 Fire Control Center from the year 1990. Keep watching the video. I bought this set secondhand without box or manual. So first of all, I collect some information on the internet and I download the manual. The set consists of 533 parts. Let's take a look at the vehicles first. This car has a nice design and what is definitely cool are the balloon tires and the fire print on the doors. Personally, I find it a bit small and I wonder why a yellow seat for the driver could not be provided here. I also find it strange that there is a hose, but no facilities for water such as a tank or fire hydrant connection. There are also no connections for accessories such as an axe. The minifigure does not have a helmet, which I also find strange. Maybe because he doesn't fit in the car with a helmet. Let's take a closer look at the helicopter. Also a nice design, but for me the helicopter is just too small to be a believable firefighter. This is very short, and there is hardly room for the minifig. There is no reference to a fire station, no print or nice accent. For me this is a little bit disappointing. Finally, there is the fire truck. I really enjoyed building it. Challenging and even exciting. It includes some fun bricks and some nice touches like a hidden hose drum and oxygen cylinders in separate compartments. What is also nice is the large hose on the roof. There are also prints on the doors here, but there could have been also a print at the back for me or the words fire department on the side, for example. In this way it is very sober. The minifig has also here little space, and there is also no yellow chair, what have been a nice extra color accent. What here is a big plus, is that the minifigure wears a real fire helmet. So for me personally a few flaws, but it is a beautiful design, large, and it is definitely the eye-catcher of this set. Let's look at the mini figures. There are four firefighters in the classic black uniform with brass buttons. There is one pilot with a helmet and only one firefighter with a real fire helmet. The two other figures come with short black hair and no helmet. One of these can be excused because he stays in the control room, but incomprehensible that the second is not wearing a helmet. And like in all previous firefighter sets, there are no neutral mini figures here which would have been a nice extra. So let's start building the fire station. First we have a base plate of 32 by 32 with a print on it. Understandably, most bricks are red and white because it's a fire station. Fortunately, I also see some nice accents in yellow, such as this fence. What I also like is this brick. It is not a sticker, but actually printed on the brick. I also think these bricks are well chosen. In the 90s this was quite innovative, such bricks that consisted of one piece. The construction of this set takes around an hour, if you take it easy. As mentioned, some nice touches are in the set, such also this tape recorder and coffee maker in the control room. Positive is that there are three vehicles for minifigs and some nice accessories, such as an axe, shovel, walkie-talkie and also a nice garage door system is in it. Unfortunately, there are also some downsides. I don't want to sound too negative, but basically you're building two garages with a control room on top. It could have been a bit more creative in my opinion. With perhaps an extra relaxation area for the firefighters. Maybe also an extra tower or a staircase or door to the helipad. Maybe some flowers in the front too. And what is not included at all is a ladder. 
Isn't that indispensable in a fire station? A fire station without a ladder is like a soldier without a gun. The garage also turns out to be just too small for the fire truck. If you look closely, you can actually see that the base plate is a row too short. But as I said, let's not be too negative. Children for whom this set is ultimately intended will probably not ask themselves any questions and have hours of fun with it. You should also be aware of it that the set is from 1990. That is now more than 30 years ago. And finally, I ended up having fun rebuilding the set and making this video. So everybody happy, right? Feel free to comment under this video and subscribe for free. Until the next video.